I felt like I didn't belong until I found my inner truth. Hi, my name is May and I am your host of this podcast. I want to invite you on this spiritual journey to find love, acceptance, inner truth and a sense of belonging, in spite of a multicultural background. Let's get together and overcome our issues with labels and stop trying to fit in boxes that were not made for us. Let's stop looking at what makes us different and see what brings us together without losing our authenticity. If you like the podcast, please give it a five-star rating. This will give more people the opportunity to find us or share it with someone who will benefit of it. Today I want to talk to you about the three important things that you should consider on your path and finding your purpose. So let's see if those resonate with you. Have fun. Servus, my beautiful people out there. Um, I hope you're good. And if not, I hope um, I can make you smile a little bit today. Um, at least, hey, why not do it right now? Give me a big smile. <laughs> And give yourself a big smile. If you can, look into a mirror. If not, just uh, imagine yourself in front of a mirror and smiling at yourself. Um, and if it feels a little bit hard, just maybe try to fake it. Because even when you fake it, you're still doing it. So, you know, you know, I don't know if you know the saying, fake it until you make it. So make as if, give yourself a big smile. And um, yeah. <laughs> Today I have a, a topic about purpose in life, you know, how uh, I think um, sometimes when we feel demotivated and like we don't want to go on, um, it's because we're missing a little bit of purpose in our lives. And I think, you know, I think it's very important for us human beings to actually have a purpose because, it, you know, it, it gives us a reason to move, to, you know, to, to get up every morning and do something. <laughs> And um, maybe you have a different opinion about that, but I truly believe for us human beings, if we have purpose in our life, we just feel better. We just feel really a lot better. And I have found that there are three things that make purpose in our life a little bit more purposey, you know, like um, a little bit, uh, no, like easier to find because Uh, I've met people that have struggled with that are like, oh, I don't know what I want to, you know, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here or what, what my thing is, you know. And um, I find that there is uh, actually three very easy ways to find out. You just have to uh, allow yourself to consider them and to, you have to be very honest with yourself for it as well, you know. But I'm going to tell you all three of them so today. So... Uh, we can see, maybe you'll see if you've already found that out for yourself or not. So starting uh, with my number one uh, way to find your purpose. Um, actually, I'm not sure if this is like how to find your purpose, but it's part of what you should consider on your way to finding your purpose. And that is actually um, see where you can be of service to others you know like if it's either helping supporting mm, just being there you know some people just need someone to be there for them or if it is um, actually teaching other people or inspiring other people and in some cases um, it's all sometimes it already helps if you just you know if you are a good example you know to to others that can also be of service and I found that the more we surrender to our own purpose and to the service we are here to do on this planet for for humanity for the people surrounding us um, I feel that the lighter and of course purposeful um, becomes our lives so you know like It just opens up our heart, you know. I remember when I when I uh, I used to be a waitress in um, for I think about six years or maybe almost eight years um, in a jazz bar, and I really loved working there because it was so amazing 
to just be there for those people, you know? Being able to serve them, li literally serve them their drinks, their food. But I know that that wasn't all, you know? It was also this being part of their lives in that moment. Um, and even if it was just for a couple of hours, once a week, they would come in to listen to their this one band they used to play every Sunday. And um, having conversations with them, you know, being of service. It was so amazing that they gave me, in the end, they gave me so much back, you know, by just being there for me, on the other hand. And I didn't expect it. I didn't, I didn't want, you know, like, it, it wasn't like I was there expecting anything from them. I, I mean, it was just doing my job, you know, but if you do your job with an extra little bit of love, and seeing that even a job like that, I think every job has its own purpose, right? So you can either find that for yourself, who you are serving. Another thing is that uh, when I was creating a summit a couple, of, uh, well, almost two years ago, you know, I went into this whole uh, uh, marketing, how you're supposed to market your summit thing and who you're supposed to invite and what you're supposed to do and I remember that at one point it got so exhausting for me and and I remembered for myself I had taken away this purpose of serving you know because I was so uh, uh, how do you say guided by because I back then at that time I was attending a special online school for those kind of things and um, and so it struck me pretty hard because for me it was like, oh man, this is like, this is not feeling good, you know? And if you don't feel that it's right, it just, you know, like why should you continue doing something? Until I reminded myself the whole reason why I was doing this summit was to be of service for a special group of people that suffered a special kind of depression. So when I took that back and I kept like all, whatever the marketing people were telling me, I just didn't care because I wanted to be of service. And it's so amazing because that summit became its own success, very successful for what it was, for what, you know, like for everything that was put into it. Um, because of, I, and I believe it was because of that, because I had shifted my focus away from anything else other than to be in service for a special group of people. Um, for one hand, or for starters, it just made my job easier because I, I had so much fun creating this whole thing because I knew it was going to be of service for this group of people, right? Um, and of course, afterwards, like even, even like almost uh, three quarter, no, half year later after the summit was over, I would still receive um, feedback to that summit and um, that just you know that it feels good because you get the confirmation that what you did was good and it confer it's also a confirmation of your purpose right because I mean what are we doing things on this earth for usually so um, that's why I'd like to, to consider because I believe that there's probably a lot of people that believe something else but I just want to share with you my belief and and that's why I'd like to, you to consider whatever you do to see how you can make it of service to others in whatever way because that will give you a different kind of purpose in your life um, yeah and now we're gonna go to the second point who is for me one of the um, best guidances to finding out my purpose because all of us live on this planet through certain things and this is something that I brought in that I bring in from my shamanic teacher because he back then told me that we go through things in life to then later be able to help others go through those things so those are the things that actually show us our purpose you know any challenges that you had to make anything that has happened to you that didn't feel good that you know like it, it can be uh, a lot of things but you know um, 
no matter how sad it might have been whatever happened but you you got through it right somehow you got through it somehow you found ways how to overcome maybe it was fears maybe it was also some sort of depression um you know whatever whatever the universe put in your path um it was something that actually made you stronger right i mean there's this saying what doesn't kill us makes us stronger right <laughs> and i actually think that what doesn't kill us kills us shows us where we're supposed to go because sometimes when we overcome those things we learn so much that we become experts in that so consider yourself an expert and i'm not saying well maybe you feel the calling of becoming a coach and if that's so please go ahead and coach other people in whatever you have overcome maybe it's a special kind of fear or a special kind of sadness you know like depression that you have overcome consider becoming a coach to people that go through the same thing because you already passed you know you know you already went through that um so you can help you know you can like we said in the first point you can become of service to other people that are going through the same thing um that that's that's like part of the gui guidance that we have um and in this case i also like to share this is the whole reason why i'm doing multicultural spiritually belonging to yourself is because i went through that i went i i have i am a multicultural per person and i went through challenges being a multicultural person even so that it caused a uh, depression for me that i had to go through and but i am over it i am standing on my two feet and i'm feeling happy with my life and it's amazing because and that's also one of the reasons because i found my purpose in helping other multicultural people um you know become be, get closer to their own truth to their inner truth and to their happiness so that's one of the things over here and um so you know what i mean this is this is uh, uh this is how you can define your own purpose by seeing what you have overcome and um and like i said it can be anything like i have a friend who um who overcame obesity or not obesity in that way but uh he was on a big way of of gaining a lot of weight and he made it his calling to help and and he lost a lot of weight and he, and and i'm not saying that he lost the weight because you know uh, it looks better to be slim no he had to lose weight because he was otherwise he would have become sick so it was a whole health issue behind that and um and you know there's a way of becoming uh an expert on that and help other people in the same thing you know um because you have already overcome that so that's the second thing i want you to consider when you're looking for your purpose is what what have you overcome or what have you been able to let go you know and because whatever technique you found for yourself is going to help someone else too you know <laughs> and the third point is my favorite because it's the most lightest of all and that is find whatever really makes you know what what you love doing and this can be like little things from you know knitting painting or actually having good talks with friends um because if you do you're probably really meant to be a coach but just as a FYI <laughs> in between uh the lines um no not in between the lines but you know what i mean um but yeah if you follow those things that you love doing you will find abundance and you will find the purpose in your life and again i'm not saying that you're supposed to change your job some of you might want to change their jobs but um i'm just I just want you to focus on those things because the moment you start focusing into those things you will become aware of more purpose in your life of more motivation more happiness more lightness in your life more harmony and a small tip um on the side for this last uh guidance is go ahead and make a list of the things that make you happy like go through your day if you can or if 
if every day is too much, do it once a week. And write down the things that where you really had fun doing, where you really forgot about the time and were just really embracing it. Whatever that is, just write it down. Because in a couple of weeks, you can look at it and you can see a pattern and you can see certain things that, that um, you know, that are a lot, you know, like that you see, wow, the, there's one thing that repeats itself every now and then, you know, and oh, wow, that makes me really feel good. Or, or it might even show you that you'd like to try out something else, you know. And um, yeah, I, I'd really love you to embrace this or, or to consider this point. Um, because it will, it will show you things, you know, and um, in between this whole part, and especially for this last one, I want you to consider that or allow yourself to embrace if you have different things that you like and that you love doing. Um, and allow yourself that they might change after a couple of months, after a couple of weeks, or maybe after years. But allow yourself to real oh, sorry allow yourself to really follow the things that are important to you and um, yeah allow yourself to be um, in the moment with those things because they really will give you a direction you know um, the moment I embraced my uh, uh, multi-potentialism <laughs> There's, a, there's a, a woman, I, I just forgot her name, um, that has created multi-potential lights, the word, I think, for people that have so many things that they like doing, you know? And that it's good that we're that diverse. And um, embrace all those things, you know? For me, being a very spiritual person, it wasn't easy to allow myself to, to admit hey, actually, you know what? I'm a nerd. I love technology. I love um, whenever I have a new gadget to, you know, how I can work with it to see, like, for example, I've, I've had a new phone and camera. Well, the phone has the camera uh, since a couple of months, and I'm still in awe of what that thing can do and, you know, practice with it and do stuff and create photographs because I love creating photographs, you know? But I also love... Um, using technology for like right now making podcasts with you guys um, uh, so I'm doing all this by myself I'm doing all the websites by myself because I'm embracing my nerd my inner nerd <laughs> and I'm following the things that I love doing you know and um, that also gives you purpose because actually when I'm doing these things it doesn't feel like I'm working it feels like I'm doing I'm doing something meaningful for myself. It's I'm I'm having fun while doing it, and I'm doing something meaningful, inspiring other people. So you see what I mean by looking at the things that you love. You might also be brought into the direction that you need to find your purpose. So yeah, so there we go with the three big big points. How do you say reasons? No, not reasons. Three big things that you can do. Uh, to find your purpose. Remember to consider where can you serve others um, and maybe how you can do a little bit more of that. The second one, whatever has been your pain, make it, make it something where you can support or help other people. And again, it might be your calling to become a coach, but it might also be your calling to just be a spokesperson for someone. You know, or even just be there and listen, because sometimes just that also helps so much. Um, and again, that's also part of coming into the service of others. <laughs> and also one of the beauties, um, one of the reasons why I love using the word servus when I say hello and um, goodbye to you guys because it actually comes from the latin word well actually it comes from the latin world slave but it's also uh meaning being of service to you and um, because i love doing that i love being here with you guys talking and inspiring you guys you know and, and creating this new space for us multiculturals and um yeah and i know one of the things we struggle with is that our purpose because you know 
sometimes the different cultures that we have uh, tell us that we ha we should do this or we should do that and um, in the end it's not making us happy and maybe it's just because the purpose is it doesn't mean you have to change your life but maybe your view of it you know and that's why again the third point that I love um, you know finding things that you love doing that you like doing you know and embracing those and just you know do them more often you know even if it's a hobby do it as a hobby more often you know instead of just doing it once a month start doing it twice or maybe I mean depends on what kind of hobby you have you know but do it do it a little bit more often oh one little last story before I uh, leave one of the things that I love doing and that helped me overcome one of my biggest fears by the way was uh, is scuba diving because uh, I used to be very panicky when I went into the ocean that much that it was really a huge um, deal so I started learning to scuba dive so that I could overcome that fear and but I also found out that I love doing it so much and it's one of the things that relaxes me very very much and so for example my sister and I do that once a year we take a 10-day vacation just the two of us and um, you know we just go scuba diving and that those 10 days give us the feeling as if we would have been on vacation for four weeks so that uh, yeah that just you know it's amazing and it makes you feel good, you know, and we're supposed to do those things for ourselves um, a little bit more because the happier you are, the better you will feel. And um, the more purpose you have, the better your life, right? Happy life is always good. And um, so, yeah, <laughs> like, um, yeah, in that way also, um, sorry, just another add on to all these if you manage to find your purpose in all of those things you're gonna find you're gonna find your own you know belonging and uh, feel better you know because you're gonna feel better accepting all the diversity that you have so yeah I hope you know what I mean with this and I hope uh, this has inspired you a little bit more and thank you again for tuning in. If you like this podcast, please give it a good five star rating. Um, and if you thought that it was very helpful, please share it with whoever might need this insight. And uh, this helps us create the space, uh, create the community too, and you know, bring together more people um, that are like-minded but of course helps me to reach more people out there that might need that insight and that help and that support so thanks again for tuning in again and um, as always be good and have a good time and if you can give yourself another smile <laughs> thank you and servus <laughs>